Hey everyone, welcome to That Guy Reviews. I am going to be uh, taking a look at this Husky uh, Industrial Steel Rack with you. Uh, I wasn't going to do a review on this, but uh, after assembling one, uh, it was so impressive that uh, I'm going to actually do a review on it. And I'm going to put together the second one. I actually have two of them. So stay tuned. <laughs> And the racks aren't very heavy, which makes it very easy to move. Uh, it's very convenient to set up. It took about it took about 20 minutes or so to put this rack together, which isn't a whole lot of time considering the size. Um, and I got this rack actually from Home Depot, um, but you can certainly find them um, almost at any uh, major retailer such as uh, Amazon. Uh, and I'll leave the link below just in case you guys are interested. If you guys have never seen a Husky storage rack or own one, uh, I am a fan ever since uh, having this set up. It's very sturdy and, and it's uh, made out of good quality material. And it looks very nice. So quick looking at the specs here. Uh, it's 77 inches wide, 24 inches deep, and about 70 inches, 78 inches tall. And there's approximately 10,000 pound of weight capacity. Um, it's also made of industry strength beams for heavy duty loads and uh, there's a lifetime warranty for this rack And what's impressive to me is the 2,500 uh, pound per shelf capacity um, And also the uh, assembly was very simple um, as you can see in this picture here uh, you would slide this um, Bar onto these holes. Now going back to instructions. This is what it comes with not a whole lot of steps just because it's so easy to put together now once you take in all the parts out the box uh, it comes with uh, some of these crates here these are the bars which is about eight pieces and then you have the two side uh, frames and that's pretty much it um, if you look here these actually snap right into uh, any one of these um, holes here and uh, I'll show you how that works and then you also get these little plugs uh, which allows you to keep the bars allows you to keep the bars intact so that way um, it doesn't move and I personally wouldn't use them you know just so that in case I need to take them out one day and I wouldn't have to go through the pain of removing those plastic pieces So everything was is pow powder coated, very sturdy, and it's very easy to assemble. That's the best part about these uh, steel racks. And then you also have these um, supporting bars uh, that are attached to the main frame. I'll give you an idea what that looks like on an assembled version. It's these uh, safety bars here that sits below this crate here. So everything's kept together using uh, the plastic saran wrap, which makes it easy to take off. When you start off, you want to make sure that the bottom of the frame has the square piece because that's what's going to be uh, helping keep everything in place. It's like the footing because at the top, it'd be flat just like this. Now, the next thing what you want to pay attention to is uh, this bar. If there's a groove here or this little dip, this is where the actual crate sits on top. Um, at the bottom here, it's going to be flat, so there's no way... Uh, the crate can sit on top of that, so that's just more for your reference. Uh, so I'm going to quickly assemble this now and uh, get started. And what I like to do is typically start from the bottom, just because, um, just like what you see here, I'll keep that very low just to get the most optimal space possible on this rack. If you like the video so far, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It'll help me push out more content like this one. Thanks.
And you have these plastic pieces uh, that would snug into these holes and for each bar to keep it all snugged in. And like I said before, I'm not gonna put these in just because I've had to remove them. It'd be so painful to do so. Uh, let me see real quick. Yeah, it looks like you're gonna have to push some force into this. Looks like you're gonna put some force into this to, to get it in there. So uh, maybe a rubber uh, hammer uh, would do the work. But overall, um, this is what I have set up now. It looks really nice. I'm happy. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.